Well, he should have arrived at Dulles Airport last night. A Virginia family's nightmare. A man tells us United Airlines kicked his child off of a flight. An unaccompanied minor pulled him off the plane and then left him stranded in upstate New York. Stephanie Ramirez live for us at Dulles, and Stephanie's not going to be arriving there today either. No, that's definitely the case, and this is actually his first time flying to a relative drove from Sterling, Virginia, all the way to Albany, New York, to pick him up because she doesn't trust the airlines to get him here safely. I called him, and then it just went into calming him down, letting him know it's going to be okay, that it's not his fault. He didn't do anything wrong. This is totally on United. He doesn't need to be upset. So he was panicking. Oh, he was panicking. The he is 13-year-old Logan O'Connor, Martin O'Connor's younger brother. Martin took custody of Logan when their father passed away last year. Still hurting from this, Martin flew Logan to Albany, New York, to be with his mother this Christmas. But he says getting Logan back to Virginia turned out to be another traumatic event. I've spent more time talking to people than his flight would have taken. All they could say is this shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened. You see what happened in text messages. O'Connor says because of a weight balance issue, United Airlines decided to remove a few people from the Tuesday night 730 flight back to Dulles. Martin texts his brother to stay on the plane and that he's in a protected seat, but they still took him off. O'Connor says the Gates staff didn't know Logan's unprotected minor status when Logan handed an employee the phone. My request to speak to a supervisor went unanswered, and then from what I can tell, everybody at the airport went home because nobody from United could contact anybody at the airport when I called them. O'Connor has had his fair share of stress, especially as a Dale City volunteer firefighter, but calls this infuriating. They need to look back at how they actually handled the unaccompanied minor program and make sure nobody else's kids get left behind or lost. I mean, my brother, had he not had his cell phone, no one would have known what was happening. Now, after O'Connor's own social media campaign and our asking questions, United did release a statement. A spokesperson says, we apologize to the O'Connors for letting them down. We have refunded the flight. And as a gesture of goodwill, they're also working to make sure this doesn't happen again in their investigation. At Dulles tonight, Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. Yeah, just a horrible situation on so many levels there. Stephanie, thanks. Well, that reimbursement that United provided included the required $150 unaccompanied minor fee. They also offered to pay O'Connor's wife for any travel expenses that were incurred on that trip to go and get Logan.